Well, hello everyone. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Welcome to another edition of uh, my food diet diary. Um, I went downstairs tonight to get a snack and I'm like, you know, this is a good time to dress something I forgot to dress, which is sugar. Straight up white granulated sugar. Um, it's not something I really dressed um, initially it's something that we do need to talk about because it's an extremely important aspect to any diet, any diet. Um, and it's so, um, it's coming into the light more than it was. Fat used to be the really big thing to watch out for. Now it's and then carbs and then sugar and blah, blah. Now we all know it's just about being balanced, eating a well-balanced diet, but trying to Hold back on the sugar and I'm not talking about high fructose corn syrup or you know brown sugar or anything like that just straight up sugar that you see on the side of the nutritional panel that doesn't have a daily allowance on it so I'm a visual person we're gonna walk through some things real quickly and hopefully um, get through this and I can still get something to eat but um, so first off, uh, one quick fact is uh, from what I researched, just for the purposes of conversion, that uh, per WebMD and then Michigan State University say that there are four grams of sugar per teaspoon, actually 4.2, but they rounded down to four. So four grams and one teaspoon. That's easy enough, so we'll work with that. Um, so one of the things I'm going to look at tonight is actually, um, let me put this off here for a sec, is uh, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms is one of my favorite cereals, and I love it. love the marshmallows. But if you look at it here, you got your big, beautiful box of Lucky Charms. And if you look at the side panel, it's got like, your nutritional value, your zinc, your vitamin D, B, A, C, you name it, your dietary fiber, your total fat, saturated fat, everything looks great, trans fat, but there you go. Total sugars, 10 grams of sugar, but no daily allowance for that in any way. Now that's odd, um, but we'll talk about that later. But for purposes of now, 10 grams of sugar per serving. And so what's a serving? Do you even know if I'll look in? Nope. Yep. Three-fourths cup. Three-fourths cup is a serving. So let's take a look at that. Again, apologize for the poor quality. Here's a bowl. A regular cereal bowl that I was just going to use. I actually was, did use. We have here... Servings of Lucky Charms. That is three-fourths cup Lucky Charms in a bowl. This bowl, obviously, not very big. You can put three of these, and I will. Three servings. Yum. Three servings of Lucky Charms. So, if for math is right, that was three servings times 10 grams of sugar per serving. 30 grams of sugar. So there's a bowl. And that's probably, I might eat two, if not two and a half of those in a sitting, which is sick when you think about it. So when you think about it, that's about, I don't know, maybe four servings. We'll say four because that's three servings, which I would definitely eat, plus maybe another little bit. So that's a, you know, a healthy one. So if we go over here and actually measure that out, so remember that two and a half um, grams of sugar per teaspoon so per serving there's 10 grams so in each serving there are two and a half grams of sugar or two and a half teaspoons excuse me so there's one teaspoon two 
two teaspoons. Two and a half. Half teaspoon. So that's in one serving of Lucky Charms. Not terrible, not great, but let's compound that as we will. And you got four glasses here of sugar. And this is where it starts to hit home. Because there's the first serving I had, which was hardly anything. There's the second serving I had. There's this third serving I had. That's in a bowl, so that's equivalent. That is the equivalent of just what's in this regular size cereal bowl. And so for the purpose of being fair to what my what I would eat for that, my friends, is a lot of sugar in a serving. How you'd even get back to bed after that is beyond measure, means, or reality. <laughs> so that's just Lucky Charms. So that, to me, is really cool and interesting exploration. You got your bowl of charms with your glass of sugar. <laughs> Which is probably even more true when you add in the orange juice. That's not even including the milk that has 12 grams per eight ounces. So there's our lucky charm. We'll put that over there. You want to go grab some M&Ms. I like M&Ms. Let's see what M&Ms has. Remember, there are four grams of sugar to one teaspoon of white granulated sugar when you're looking at these servings. So look at the serving size here at the top one-fourth of a cup 28 grams of sugar so if we do our math if we do our math that is almost seven teaspoons of sugar per one-fourth cup let's measure that out and see what we get down to M&Ms yum Got my one fourth cup. Generous. Put that over there. Go into our sugar. Seven teaspoons. Let's use a shot glass just so we can have a good measure of what we're looking at here. One teaspoon. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. There it is. I'd obviously rather have the M&Ms. That's just me. But that is a lot of sugar, my friends. A lot of sugar. Finally, the last thing, which is very popular right now, and I love them as well, is something near and dear to my heart. It's called a Cliff Bar. I love Cliff Bars. I love them a lot. They're hitting the market like wild. They have chocolate chip, pomegranate, you name it. Until I realized why was I putting on weight really rapidly. And I realized what was going on, at least to some extent, in a very short amount of time. 21 grams of sugar. Per one bar. 
21 grams of sugar. That's close to a Snickers bar. So that's gonna be five teaspoons of sugar. Now let's measure that out. Again, we got our teaspoon. We're not a stuff to measure stuff out in. That's five, oh, five teaspoons of sugar. One, two, three, four, five. That's how much sugar, this sugar, just this, not including syrup and everything else they put in these things. It's in a Cliff Bar. A nutritious Cliff Bar that I love. I love all these products. I love Lucky Charms. I love M&Ms. I love Cliff Bars. But the sugar, I could have had this all tonight. A bowl of Lucky Charms. A handful of M&M's, maybe not on a cliff bar. Now I'm sad. So what do we do? I can't have my cereal. That'd be terrible for my diet. I can't have cliff bar, which I thought maybe I could have. So I gotta regulate that. So in my journal, I have something called apple cider vinegar. When I drink that, this is not witchcraft. This is just me. When I drink that, it suppresses my appetite and it suppresses my urge for sugar. And I have a large urge for sugar. For some life events before, that also caused me to want sugar more than I do. So I crave that. So I take apple cider vinegar. It helps at least suppress my urge for sugar at the time. It fills me up too. It doesn't taste that great, I'll be honest, but it helps. It also regulates my blood sugar, which it's been scientifically proven to do. So I have that with me as well. Better that than the Twenty-five teaspoons of sugar I could have just had right now which would be converted into fat very shortly so apple cider vinegar tonight see how that goes I thought it'd be interesting to quantify all that sugar using raw data science and facts I'm not a scientist I'm not a dietitian um, all I know is uh, what goes in must come out somehow in some shape or form or it'll be stored it's pretty much that basic and if you can stick to that and have help knowledge will and whatever else that you need to help support you in your structure we got to do so I want to get down to my goal of 165 so I'm gonna cut back on the sugar and uh, I just found a really great way to cut it out so hopefully you have a great night thanks for checking in that's the steel deal Take care. We'll see you next time.